yes friends <coughs> good morning next video from dhruva entertainment and vidu classes friends this is essay friends from first year zoology friends write an essay on water is an ecological factor friends very very important essay friends very very important essay what is that friends water is an ecological factor friends water is an ecological factor explain see friends water is a is a biotic component like temperature we have one more ecological factor what is that friends water see water is another important factor that influences the life of organisms so like temperature water is also influences on what friends on the life of the organisms okay friends what is that water is an ecological factor water friends now see friends life is not livable without water life is not sustainable without water friends can you imagine can we live without water as we can't live so life is not livable or livable or sustainable without water so water has that much importance friends each and every cell of our body has water an organism requires water an organism needs water we can't expect an organism without water okay friends now see friends now you here you remember one definition friends salinity friends salinity what is salinity friends salt concentration of water is called as salinity what is salinity friends salt concentration of water is called salinity friends salt concentration of water is called salinity friends salt concentration of water is called salinity this salinity is measured by a unit friends that is ppt friends ppt means what friends parts per thousand friends parts per thousand salinity is measured with a unit that unit is called what friends ppt parts per thousand next friends on the basis of salinity water is of three types friends friends once again what is salinity salt concentration of water is called as salinity salinity is measured in which units friends ppt ppt means parts per thousand on the basis of this salinity water is of three types friends we have three types of waters what are those three types friends see friends number 1 friends fresh water marine water and brackish water friends water is of three types you know it fresh water marine water and brackish water how can we classify the water into these three types on the basis of their salinity friends what is salinity salt concentration now see friends what is fresh water you know friends if you compare the marine water and fresh water fresh water has less salts okay now you see what is the concentration of the salts in the fresh water the salinity of fresh water or the concentration of salts in the fresh water is less than 0.5 percentage friends less than 0.5 percentage r 5 grams per 1000 grams friends you have to write any one of these three r 5 pt or less 5 ppt or less so here you remember this one friends less than 0.5 percentage what is the salinity of fresh water less than 0.5 percentage or less than 5 ppt or 5 grams per 1000 grams okay if a water has less than 0.5 percentage of the salt concentration or salts that water is called as what friends fresh water now come to marine water friends 
the salinity of marine water is 3.5 percentage or 35 grams per 1000 grams or 35 ppt friends what is the salinity of the marine water 3.5 percentage 3.5 percentage or you have to write one more friends 35 grams in 1000 grams 35 grams in 1000 grams or 35 ppt 35 ppt means if you take 1000 ml of water in that the salt concentration water means 35 35 ppt parts per 1000 so 3.5 percentage or 35 grams per 1000 grams or 35 ppt that is the salinity of marine water friends now come to brackish water friends salinity of brackish water is between see friends between fresh water and marine water what is the fresh water friends 0.5 percent or less than 0.5 percentage and what is the marine water friends 3.5 percentage so between 0.5 to 3.5 percentage that is called as water friends brackish water or in other way or between 5 to 30 grams per 1000 grams between 5 grams to 30 grams per 1000 grams so brackish water is in between fresh water and marine water you know friends brackish water is present in the etcheries you know friends what is etchery etchery is the place where a river merges in the sea or with the sea that area is called as what friends etchery there we find what friends we find brackish water so you see friends a river has fresh water its salinity is what friends less than 0.5 percentage a sea has marine water what is salinity friends it is 3.5 percentage what is brackish water friends between 0.5 to 3.5 percentage so on the base of salinity water is divided into three types fresh water marine water brackish water once again friends fresh water salinity less than 0.5 percentage marine water 3.5 percentage brackish water 0.5 to 3.5 percentage or 3.5 percentage Okay, friends, that is about the types of water. Now, see, friends, on the basis of salinity tolerance, see, friends, we have three types of salinity. On the basis of salinity tolerance, organisms are of two types. Friends, very, very important for your future studies. This is general, friends. What are they, friends? Urihaline and stenohaline. On the basis of salinity tolerance, on the base of tolerance on the salts of the salt salts organisms or animals or living beings are divided into two types urihaline and stenohaline friends urihaline haline stenohaline friends in the temperature you will hear a word urethermal and stenothermal here urihaline stenohaline okay friends now come to urihaline Friends, what is URI? URI means wide range or broad. You know, friends, stenographer. Steno means narrow. URI means wide or broad. URI means what, friends? Wide range or broad. Haline means what, friends? Salty or saline. Haline means salty or saline. URI means wide range or broad. Now, what is URI haline? Organisms which can tolerate wide range of salinity are called urihaline organisms see what is urihaline friends organisms which can tolerate wide range of salinity friends organisms which can tolerate which can survive which can live in wide range of salinities is called as what friends urihaline organisms example brackish water animals you know friends what is the salinity of brackish water you know it friends 0.5 to 3.5 or 5 pp to 35 ppt means there is wide range of salinity is there so the animals or the organs which are living in the brackish water can tolerate 0.5 percentage salinity 10 percentage salinity 20 percentage salinity 30 percentage i'm sorry 0 0.5 0 0.1 2 2.5 and 3.5 okay friends so they can tolerate wide range of salinity okay such type of animals are called what urihaline once again friends organisms which can tolerate organisms which can tolerate 
वैड रेंज आफ सैलिटी आर् कॉल यूरी हलैन आर्गानिजम बेस्ट एक्सापल फ्रेंड्स ब्राकिश वाटर एनिमल ब्राकिश वाटर एनिमल आर् यूरी हलैन यू नो इट बिकॉज ब्राकिश वाटर हेज वैड रेंज आफ सैलिटी पॉइंट फाइव पर्संटेज टू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव आर फाइव पीपीटी टू थर्टी फाइव पीपीटी सो दोज एनिमल विच आर लिविंग इन द यूरी हलैन कैन टालेट पॉइंट फाइव पर्सेंट इज सैलिटी एंड थ्री पॉइंट फाइव पर्सेंट इज सैलिटी बिकॉज ऑफ दट वी आर कॉलिंग दम एज यूरी हलैन आर्गानिजम ओके फ्रेंड्स नैक्स्ट कम टू स्टीनो हलैन फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स स्टीनो मीन नारो स्टीनो मीन वाट फ्रेंड्स नारो हलैन मीन सैलिटी और सलैन सी फ्रेंड्स आर्गानिज विच कैन नाट टालेट वैड रेंज आफ सैलिटी आर् कॉल स्टीनो हलैन आर्गानिजम Organisms which cannot tolerate wide range of salinity are called stenohaline animals. For example, you see, friends, what is the salinity of fresh water? Just 0.5 percentage. What is the salinity of marine water? 3.5 percentage. So, a fresh water animal can live only in the fresh water. It can't live in the marine water because it is adjusted to the fresh water uh, medium or fresh water environment. If you transfer A fresh water animal into the marine water, it can't live because it is stenohaline. It cannot tolerate wide range of salinity. Likewise, a marine water animal can't live in the fresh water because it is adjusted to the 3.5 percent, 3.5 percent of its salinity. So that is called what friends stenohaline. Organisms which cannot tolerate wide range of salinity are called stenohaline organisms. Example friends, fresh water animals. and marine water animals fresh water animals can live only in the fresh water marine water animals can live only in the marine water see friends because of osmotic problems because of osmotic problems what happen friends fresh water stenohaline animals cannot live in sea water see due to osmotic problems there are some problems friends osmotic problems due to that a fresh water stenohaline animal a fresh water animal it is sino stenohaline you know it it can't live in sea water likewise what happened friends a marine water stenohaline animals can't live in fresh water so for stenohaline you have to write fresh water animals and marine water animals for brackish water sorry for yuri haline you have to give example brackish water animals okay friends that is about the yuri haline and stenohaline now friends very very important adaptations of fresh water animals friends how the fresh water animals adapted to the water okay friends now see friends fresh water animals live in fresh water you know friends what its salinity less than 0.5 percentage or 5 ppt okay friends now they live in hypotonic waters this is important friends hypotonic waters what is hypotonic water friends hypotonic water means it has less salts than the body fluid for example you see friends the body fluids of fresh water animal or the cytoplasm of the fresh water animal has salts you know it the concentration of salts in the cytoplasm of the fresh water animal is more than the fresh water so because with what we are saying the fresh water animals live in the hypotonic waters hypotonic means the concentration of the water of the fresh water is less than the body fluids so they live in hypotonic water means this water has less salts than the body fluids this water means what friends fresh water has less salts than the body fluids body fluids of whom friends body fluids of the fresh water animals okay friends now see the salinity of fresh water that is osmotic pressure is less than the body fluids once again the salinity is also automatically less than the body fluids what is salinity friends salt concentration the salt concentration of the fresh water that is osmotic pressure is less than the body fluids of the fresh water animals see friends this leads to very very important friends endosmosis endosmosis very very important friends in fresh water animals we can see which osmosis friends endosmosis you know friends what is osmosis flow of molecules from low concentration to high concentration here low concentration is present in the 
fresh water high concentration is present in the body fluids of the fresh water animals so the water moves into the animal see friends this leads to endosmosis what is friends osmosis from outside to inside the body osmosis from outside means from the fresh water to the inside the body means what friends inside the body of the fresh water animal that is called as endosmosis very very important friends in fresh water animals we can see what friends which is osmosis endosmosis what is endosmosis flow of molecules flow of fluids from where to where from outside to the inside the body of a fresh water animal okay friends that is endosmosis in fresh water animals what we have lead we have endo endosmosis now see friends due to endosmosis fresh water animals get more water continuously into the body see friends due to endosmosis what happen friends water enters into the body of the fresh water animals continuously 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 water enters into the body of the fresh water animal this leads to increase of water inside the body what happened friends due to endosmosis the water is entering into the body of the fresh water animal this leads to what friends water continuously the quantity of the water increase in the body of the fresh water animals so then if water increase what happens friends there may be asthma regulatory problems so because of that fresh water animals they have to send out the excess water from the body okay friends how they send out how they overcome these problems now we'll see friends to overcome the problems of endosmosis fresh water animals have the following adaptations see friends due to endosmosis water continuously enter into the body of the fresh water animals this leads to accumulation of water in the body so this water the excess water must be sent out from the body of the fresh water animals for that they have some adaptations friends what are those adaptations see friends number 1 fresh water protozoans have contractile vacuoles the first adaptation friends in fresh water protozoans fresh water protozoans have contractile vacuole friends fresh water protozoans protozoans comes under protista kingdom protista friends these fresh water protozoans have contractile vacuole you know friends contract vacuole has its function that's osmoregulation they collect the excess water from the body and they send it out so fresh water animals have contractile vacuoles okay friends see friends this is amoeba okay friends see water enter into the body due to endosmosis the excess water is connected by the collected by the contractile vacuole when contractile vacuole is filled see friends it is sending out so the excess water in protozoans fresh water protozoans here you have to remember fresh water only we are discussing about the fresh water only in fresh water protozoans the excess water send out through what friends by the contractile vacuole okay friends see friends for neat and nimble these vacuoles send out excess water from the body remember it friends now second one in fishes friends fresh water fishes first we discussed about the fresh water protozoans second one fresh water fishes fresh water fishes have glomerular kidney friends you know what is glomerulus a group of blood capillaries present in the bowman's capsule of the nephron is called as glomerulus these fresh water fishes have glomerular kidney means they have glomerulus in their nephron what is the role of the glomerulus friends these glomeruli send out water and salts through urine friends fresh water fishes have glomerular kidney these glomeruli send out water and salts through what friends through urine very very important friends see friends this is glomerulus this is glomerulus friends so this glomerulus collects excess water along with water it also collects the salts friends so this water and salts send out through the urine so glomerular kidney is present in which fishes in fresh water fishes friends fresh water fishes have glomerular kidney what is the role of glomerular kidney glomerular kidney collect the excess water and also along with excess water it also collect the salts friends these excess water and salts 
send out through the urine. Okay, friends, that is in the freshwater fishes. Now, <coughs> see, friends, the bunch of blood capillaries present in the Bowman's capsule of nephron is called glomerulus. Friends, what is glomerulus? The bunch of or group of blood capillaries present in the Bowman's capsule of nephron is called what, friends? Glomerulus. This is for neat and named friends. Okay? Now, see, friends, here. Here you see an image, friends. See, friends, this is, it is collecting the excess water and it is sending out. Okay, friends. Now, one more important one, friends. Very, very important one. Chloride cells. Friends, chloride cells, chloride cells are present in the gills of fish. Gills of freshwater fish as well as marine water fish have gills, but their function is different, friends. Chloride cells, where a fish has chloride cells, chloride cells are present in the gills of fish. Chloride cells are present in what, friends? Gills of fish, friends. Gills of fish. Okay? What they are doing, friends? Freshwater fish have chloride cells in their gills. These chloride cells absorb salts from water which are lost during excretion. Here you have to concentrate, friends. You see, freshwater fish have glomerular kidney. Those glomerular kidney are collecting excess water from the body and sending out through the urine. When the excess water is going out, along with water, salts also, salts also send out from the body. So the freshwater fish lost salts, friends. To regain those salts, to regain those salts, to get lost salts, these chloride cells, see friends, chloride cells in their gills absorb salts from the water, from the fresh water, which are lost during excretion. Very, very important. Friends. See friends, here it is a fish. See friends, it, what is taking? Throw kidney. It is losing what friends? Salts and water dilute urine with sodium chloride calcium bicarbonates. But see friends, here, here this is gills. Gills have what friends? Chloride cells. The cells are absorbing salts. Okay. What is the role of the chloride cells in the freshwater fishes? They absorb salts from the freshwater. Why they are absorbing salts? Why the chloride cells of freshwater are absorbing salts? Because those salts are eliminated or sent out through the urine, through the water, through the urine. Okay, friends. That is about the function of the chloride cells. Now you see, friends, one more image. Here you see, friends. It drinks little water, but it excretes diluted urine. Why a freshwater fish excreted, excreting diluted urine, friends? Due to endosmosis, water enters into the body. Okay, friends. But they are absorbing water, sorry, salts through the gills. Okay, friends. Now, fourth one, friends. Fourth adaptation. Most of the freshwater ponds are dry up during summer. See, friends. Majority of the water ponds are short seasonal. So most of the ponds are dry up during summer. This is the major problem faced by freshwater animals. A freshwater pond, a freshwater water body has more animals. But these water bodies are dry up during summer. Then what about those animals which are living in this water? So what they are doing friends? Freshwater animals overcome this problem in the following way. How they are overcoming the summer problems, madam? First one, freshwater protists undergo encystment. Freshwater protists like euglena, like amoeba, they undergo what means encystment. Encystment means formation of cyst around them, around their body. They protect themselves from unfavorable conditions like high temperature. Okay, friends. That is formation of cyst. Encystment means formation of cyst. That's first one. Freshwater protists undergo encystment. Second one, freshwater sponges produce gemmules, friends. Second one, friends, freshwater sponges means what, friends? Poriferans produce gemmules. Gemmules is a type of asexual reproduction. They reproduce asexually by gemmules, friends. Gemmules are internal birds. Internal birds. So, freshwater 
Poriferans or sponges produce gemmules during summer. Now third one friends, Protopterus, very very important friends. Protopterus is also called African lungfish. Protopterus is also called African lungfish. It is a fish, generally fish have gills as their respiratory organ. But lung fishes have gills as well as lungs. This is important friends. This Protopterus lives in the Africa because of that we are calling it as African lungfish. This Protopterus shows estivation. What is estivation friends? You know it's summer sleep. Summer sleep. Estivation is also called as summer sleep. See friends, estivation is also called summer sleep. What it do friends? It, during summer, this Protopterus burrows into the mud and form a gelatinous cocoon around its body during summer to survive. See this Protopterus shows estivation or summer sleep. During summer what it do friends? See friends, it enters into the burrows and form a gelatinous cocoon around its body during summer. See friends, here there is an image. See friends, this is Protopterus friends, fish. See during summer it form a burrow and it form what friends? A gelatinous cocoon and it protects itself from the temperature or from the summer. Okay friends, this is what friends, estivation, protection from the hard or hot conditions. Okay friends, now see friends, one more, here you see, protozoans are protist, they are forming what friends, they are forming cyst during summer. It undergoes multiple division and they are producing daughter individuals. These are what friends? These are cysts. A three layer. This is called an encystment. Now see friends, poriferans are sponges. They are forming what friends? Gemmules. Okay. And the third one is what friends? Protopterus or African lungfish. Okay friends. This is about the freshwater animals. Next. Adaptation in marine water habitats. Friends, adaptations in marine water habitats. Quite opposite to fresh water friends. Yes, marine water animals live in marine water or sea water. They live in hypertonic waters friends. Fresh water animals live in hypotonic water. Whereas marine water animals live in hypertonic water. Means the marine waters have more salt concentration. Means it has more salts in the body. It means what friends? Marine water has more salts in the body. That water is called as what friends? Hypertonic water. Fresh water is called as hypotonic water. Here we are comparing body fluids of the animal and the medium. Okay friends. Now, the salinity of marine water is more than the body fluids. You know friends, what is the salinity of marine water? 3.5 percentage or 35 ppt. So the salinity of marine water or the osmotic pressure, osmotic concentration is more than the body fluids. Due to this what happened friends, this leads to exosmosis. Friends, in fresh water we see, we find endosmosis. In marine water we see exosmosis. What is exosmosis friends? Exosmosis means the momentum of ions from inside to the outside the body. The fluids move from fresh water animals to the, sorry, marine water animals to the sea water. So what is exosmosis? Osmosis from inside the body to the outside the body or outside the environment. Okay friends. Now see friends, due to exosmosis, marine animals lose water friends. In fresh water they gain water, they, water enters into the body. Here marine water animals, they lose water from their body, continuously from the body. This leads to dehydration. This leads to what friends? Dehydration. Marine water animals lose water. Okay friends, that lead to what friends? Dehydration. This is due to what? Due to exosmosis. Now how they overcome this problem? See friends, to overcome the problem of exosmosis, marine water animals have the following adaptations. Quite opposite to fresh water friends. See, number one, marine water protozoans have no contractile vacuole. Fresh water protozoans have contractile vacuole friends. But marine water protozoans or protists have no contractile vacuole because there is no need of contractile vacuole. 
सेकेंड वन मारेन वाटर फिशेस हैव ए ग्लोमेरुलर किडनी फ्रेंड्स ए ग्लोमेरुलर यार ग्लोमेरुलस एब्सेंट वेयर एज फ्रेश वाटर प्रोटोजोन्स हैव सर फ्रेश वाटर फिशेस हैव ग्लोमेरुलर किडनी बट मारेन वाटर फिशेस हैव ए ग्लोमेरुलर किडनी विथ लेस नंबर ऑफ नेफ्रॉन्स द नंबर ऑफ नेफ्रॉन्स आल्सो लेस फ्रेंड्स नो सी फ्रेंड्स दिस किडनी मिनिमाइज द लॉस ऑफ वाटर थ्रू द यूरिन ऑलरेडी they are losing water due to during excess due to osmosis friends so this kidney which kidney a glomerular kidney minimizes the loss of water through urine okay friends now third one what is that friends see friends here the marine water animals are losing water due to exosmosis to compensate water loss see they are losing water from the body to compensate the loss of water due to exosmosis marine fish drink more water friends see this is important they drink more and more water because they are losing water due to during exosmosis due to exosmosis to compensate the loss of water they drink more water which water marine water that marine water has salts you know it it has more salts along with water salts are also enter into the body along with water the marine water has salts that salts also enter into the body these salts disturb the internal equilibrium that is homeostasis so they are losing water no problem madam friends so the water which is lost by the exosmosis they will drink they can drink friends but along with the water then drink water friends salts because marine water has more salts so these salts the concentration of salts increase in the body so they will get a problem they will get a problem this disturb internal equilibrium that is homeostasis so how they overcome this problem now see friends marine fish have chloride cells in their gills same friends fresh water fish also have chloride cells in their gills likewise marine cells also have chloride cells in their gills but their function is different friends see friends these chloride cells secrete salts into the water which are lost these so these chloride cells secrete salts into water friends this is important these chloride cells sorry friends these chloride cells secrete salts into water in fresh water chloride cells absorb the water friends here chloride cells secrete salts into water that is the difference friends in fresh water animals what is the function of the chloride cells they absorb the salts here they see the chloride cells secrete salts into water okay friends now see friends sec third one sea gulls and penguins eliminates excess salts through nostrils friends sea gulls and penguins are the marine animals you know it they eliminate excess salts through nostrils marine fish are excreting or sending out excess salt through the chloride cells sea gulls and penguins are eliminating excess salts through what friends through excess salt through nostrils next friends turtles what are turtles friends marine tortoise is called a turtles turtles have salt secreting glands near their eyes see friends sea gulls and penguins have salt secreting cells near the nostrils whereas turtles have salt secreting glands near their eyes chloride secreting glands ducts open near the eyes you have to remember it friends now see friends cartilaginous fish you know friends what is cartilaginous fish 3d that is shark friends cartilaginous fish they store urea and trimethyl amine oxide friends this is very very important cartilaginous fish example shark they store what friends they store urea and tmo tmo means trimethyl amine oxide in their blood for what friends to maintain osmotic concentration to maintain salt concentration so cartilaginous fish like shark they store what friends they store urea number 1 number 2 trimethyl amine oxide that is tmo for what friends 
where they are storing they are storing in the blood for what to maintain the salt concentration to maintain the osmotic pressure so okay, friends now see friends difference between adaptations in fresh water animals and marine water animals please by heart this friends fresh water animals live in hypotonic waters marine water animals live in hypertonic waters fresh water animals show endosmosis marine water animals show exosmosis fresh water protozoans have contractile vacuoles contractile vacuoles are absent in marine water animals fresh water fishes have glomerular kidney marine water fishes have a glomerular kidney very very important friends next this glomerular kidney send out excess water through urine this glomerular kidney minimize loss water through urine okay friends now one more friends very very important sixth one chloride cells of fresh water animals chloride cells of gills absorb salts from water chloride cells of gills secret excess salt into the water this about what friends difference between adaptations of fresh water animals and marine water animals now come to the third one friends adaptation in brackish water habitats friends brackish water animals live in brackish water these are uri haline animals friends you know it brackish water what is the salt concentration it is between 0.5 to 3.5 so the brackish water animals are uri haline animals they can tolerate wide range of salinity they can tolerate wide range of salinity example what friends example migratory fish migratory fish okay friends like what friends number 1 salmon and hilsa number 2 anguilla these are the fish friends salmon and hilsa it is a migratory fish friends these two are migratory fish these are sea water fish they migrate from sea water to fresh water if a fish migrates from sea water to fresh water that is called as anadromous migration see friends sea water to fresh water example salmon and hulls hilsa salmon and hilsa are the sea water and fish they can migrate from sea water to fresh water see friends sea water has 3.5 percentage of salt concentration fresh water has 0.5 percentage of concentration means here they are tolerating wide range of salinity because of we are calling them as what friends uri haline next anguilla anguilla it is migrate fresh water to sea water it's called as what friends cadadromous migration friends anadromous migration means sea water to fresh water migration from sea water to fresh water is called anadromous example salmon and hilsa cadadromous means fresh water to sea water migration from fresh water to sea water okay friends now see friends migratory fish migrate for breeding why they are migrating from fresh water to sea water or sea water to fresh water for what friends for breeding salinity of fresh water is 5 ppt salinity of marine water is 35 ppt friends are you able to write 0.5 percentage 3.5 percentage okay friends migratory fish can adjust kidney and chloride cells according to changing salinity this is important friends they can adjust the kidney and chloride cells according to changing salinity when they are in fresh water they behave like fresh water animals when they are in marine water they behave like marine water animals because of that what we are saying they are uri haline animals see friends adjustment of kidney when they are in fresh water when they means what friends migratory fish when they are in fresh water means low salinity low salinity means endosmosis glomerulus kidney send out extra water and salts through urine when the fresh water fish when the migratory fish is in the fresh water they show endosmosis they have glomerulus of kidney send out extra water and salts through urine when they are in marine water means high salinity that is exosmosis kidney minimize the loss of water through urine kidney minimize the loss of water through urine next friends chloride cells adjustment of chloride cells in uri haline animals are in migratory fish when they are in fresh water chloride cells of gills absorb salts like fresh water animals when they are in marine water 
chloride cells of gills secrete salts out see friends see friends when they are in fresh water chloride cells of gills absorb salts when a migratory fish in the fresh water or in the river what is the role of the chloride cells they absorb salts like fresh water animals when they are when they enter into the marine water what is the role of the chloride cells they secrete out salts okay friends now friends last one water related adaptations for terrestrial habitats to overcome water related problems terrestrial animals have the following adaptations friends number 1 kangaroo rat kangaroo rat it is a mammal friends it completely depends upon metabolic water friends kangaroo rat completely depends upon metabolic water friends what is metabolic water say so, say so, next why it depends upon metabolic water because it won't get external water it won't drink external water so kangaroo rat completely depends upon metabolic water because it won't get it won't drink external water say so, see friends kangaroo rat is a desert animal friends for neat and nemsel friends kangaroo rat is a desert animal see friends this is for neat and nemsel friends kangaroo rat is a desert animal it lives in north american deserts it gets metabolic water from the oxidation of fats friends it gets metabolic water from oxidation of water this is metabolic water friends it is a biochemical adaptation for this question appeared in the neat 2021 it is a biochemical adaptation friends it excretes concentrated urine the water produced during the metabolism that is it is an end product of oxidation of carbohydrates fats and proteins that is called as metabolic water okay friends that is about the adaptations of the what friends water related adaptations in terrestrial animals this is about what friends this is about which question friends important question very very important question what is that friends once again you say what is our question friends water is an ecological factor explain here you have to remember urihaline stenohaline chloride cells glomerular kidney endosmosis exosmosis okay friends thank you good day friends